Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for this good uh, chance to, to, to meet uh, the, um, Professor Fang and uh, talk about uh, uh, the situation. Um, well, uh, um, unfortunately, uh, in Italy, uh, we, we had uh, a large number of uh, deaths. Uh, also, uh, this uh, is caused uh, uh, because uh, the first level uh, doctors, uh, you know, in Italy we have uh, a family doctor, uh, which is uh, uh, the doctor um, when people get sick, uh, they, they first of all, uh, they, they contact with this uh, basic level uh, physician. And, uh, but uh, mm, these doctors uh, mm, now complain uh, they, they didn't, uh, mm, they didn't uh, have uh, any kind of uh, medicine, any kind of uh, prevention or, uh, or to, to cure uh, the confirmed cases uh, and, uh, mm, and uh, uh, the mild symptoms. Uh, so this is a very very bad uh, because uh, it means uh, many many of them get uh, get get um, evolve towards uh, uh, severe or critical cases uh, so uh, we um, we did our best we are uh, an institution of uh, traditional chinese medicine uh, working in rome Italy uh, many many years and uh, we did our best uh, to um, to let the people know uh, um, the possibility of uh, uh, of a therapy with uh, Chinese medical herbs. Uh, unfortunately, our medical system maybe is uh, uh, is much uh, not um, um, not very open. Uh, and uh, the medical doctors now are uh, looking for uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the family doctors now are complaining uh, and uh, many many people and many doctors are looking for new methods uh, uh, natural methods and so uh, because of this uh, the Chinese experience uh, would be very 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 important um, and also, I, I'd like to, to ask uh, Professor Fang, uh, which is the vision of a traditional Chinese medicine about vaccine? Because uh, uh, here in Italy, many people fear that uh, in autumn we will have uh, another uh, stronger attack of uh, COVID-19. And uh, um, some people would like to take a vaccine, but uh, many, many other people uh, think uh, vaccine is not very very good uh, because uh, it uh, can uh, it could weaken uh, immune system which is uh, the chinese traditional medicine view我是来自于意大利，我非常有幸呢，非常感谢大家给我这个机会。那现在呢，在意大利的情况呢，其实是非常不理想的，因为我们可以看到意大利现在一死于新冠肺炎的人数是逐步在上升的，而且这个数量是
，很多人都在猜测，说八月份的时候。新冠肺炎可能会再次强势卷土重来，所以我们想问的是，疫苗可能是解决整个这样一新冠肺炎最好的办法，因为它可以让整个这样一个肺炎的毒性会下降。那但是疫苗来讲的话呢，可不可能会对人体的这个免疫系统造成危害？那有没有这样的一种可能，就是中医药能在这方面发挥它的作用？因为我们知道中医药其实对于提升人的这样的一个身体免疫力是有非常强的这样一个功效的。您怎么看？谢谢。我想呢，就是在前面我也讲了，中医药提倡的是治胃病，提倡的提高人体的正气，提高抗病能力。First of all, thank you for asking this question. The a philosophy behind the TCM is we want to strengthen people's vital chi, which is actually their internal immunity, and that can help them to eliminate the pathogen. So we talk about TCM. The role it can play is help people to defend themselves from invented by the infection, the virus. 正如 WHO 所讲。这个，这个就是目前不要对对这个疫苗或特效药过于更高的希望。关键的问题就是在防范和治疗这些方面下功夫。我完全同意这个观点。目前，疫苗任何一个国家的官方。没有正式发布疫苗的消息，对于它的安全性，这个在临床应用的一些有效性，还有待于进一步去证实。这有一个过程，这有一个过程。第二个呢，在没有西药或特效药药药这个就是疫苗的情况下，中医药就是一个不失为一个很好的一个方法，能够在很短的时间内。通过对疾病的分析，对病人本身或不同地区、国家的一些情况的分析，能够立出一条方案，是一个非常实时的一种特殊的一种治疗方法，是非常可行的。So first of all, I would like to say that the a statement from WHO is that we should not give a really high hope to vaccines because right now we don't know the safety of the vaccines and also the clinical efficacy of vaccines also need further approval so there's no really sound base for us to trust any vaccine right now because they're only in pipeline for further approval and that also take times so we need to do is we need to shift our focus to more how we can better prevent and treat our patients. And we then come to TCM, the role of TCM, because right now there is no effective or specific medicine to cure COVID-19. Then TCM may can play its role because we know TCM actually can give the, a different, based on different syndrome, TCM actually can come with a different formula or medicine based on different countries condition and also can give the, a medicine based on different patient situation. 在同国外的一些同行的一些探讨，还有有关的一些媒体报道来看，目前在海国外，轻症的包括普通肺炎的病人大多都在居家治疗。在这个阶段，我曾经在一起上面也前面讲过，中医药对这一类的治疗是非常有效果，纯中医就能够达到很好的效果。第二点，能够有效的阻止轻症普通性肺炎。像恶性病变、像危重病的发展，在这些方面已经有非常好的临床研究证据。And based on my discussion, also the communication with our colleague overseas, and also based on the media coverage, we can see majority of the patients in their mild or normal symptoms actually right now still stay at home for treatment. Then here is what TCM can do. Actually, we can give a full play to TCM. That's maybe also can 100% rely on Chinese medicine because Chinese medicine actually can effectively help the patient 
patient from preventing them worsening from mild symptom to severe symptom. Actually, we have a sound clinical evidence to prove at this front. 主要的一些中医的方法，一个就是要中医长期讲的要安神定志。中医有一句话去讲的：“恬淡虚无，真气从之，病安存来。”我在前面也讲过，我们有些病人吃不好、睡不着，严重的影响了患者的一些免疫能力。这个我们通过中医的功法或针灸的一些治疗，可以对高危人群进行干预。对有防护条件的同时，可以对病人进行干预。So if we talk about the a way of TCM practice, first of all, we need to calm the nerve of our patients because we talk about right now we see the anxiety actually quite common among the patients, even they stay at home. So we talk about actually they cannot really eat, cannot really sleep. This really impact their immune system. So we talk about either through the acupuncture or from the a other the a very traditional normal practice of a TCM can really help this group of a suspectable population. 对于轻症的病人，我们可以通过一些简单的中药，因为在国外中药的一些治疗方法，包括一些药物受到限制。但是中医很多药物是药食同源，比如说对轻症西洋参、黄芪。太子参，还有这个灵芝，甚至灵芝孢子粉这一类的药物，在国外应该有。早期的进行干预对轻症是有效的。对于普通性肺炎，我主张的刚才在前面讲的有几味药，一个是大黄，可以用十到十五克；如果有腹泻的病人，可以用炙大黄；用西洋参、人参，可以用到。用到就是十五到二十克，包括西洋参或人参。麦冬可以用到三十克，因为这类的病人大多数出现咳嗽、少痰，这个就是没有痰的情况，能够用中医的一些益气养阴的方法能起到效果。同时，有针对马鞭草、虎杖这一类的药，如果有的话，加上去有一定的抗病毒作用，能起到非常好的一些疗效。And we talk about for the mild symptom patients, and we know actually the TCM not fully opened in the overseas market, so we not really have a really hand. Handful of choices here. So we talk about that you can use the Western ginseng or the a Chinese ginseng as a good choices, and also you can go to the medicine I mentioned at my opening, the introduction, the a rubber. Actually, rubber is really good. The a raw rubber can give to the mild symptom patients at around the ten to fifteen grams per dose, and for the a patients with diarrhea, then you need to go with the a cooked. Cooked the a rhubarb, and for the a ginseng or Western ginseng, you can go with the a dosage of a fifteen to twenty grams. So we talk about the patients, and you also can give the other two the a TCM as the a Hu Zhang and Ma Bian Cao as I introduced in my PowerPoint. 如果有中成药，像莲花清瘟胶囊，它里面也有大黄。如果出现发热、咳嗽或肺炎表现的，也可以运用。对于危重病医院的，有医院的危重病患者，我建议有多脏衰或其他的呼吸衰竭，一些情况可以危重情况可以用人参或大黄，一般在三十克左右，包括人参或大黄都能取得很好的效果。一个是提高免疫，第二个能够起到。对炎性介质的清除、内窦素的清除，防止多功能衰竭、多脏器功能衰竭是有非常好的。Then we come to the a severe condition patients. If you can get access to Lianhua Qingwen capsule or HHQW granule, then it's good because that H LHQW granule that also include the a medicine as mentioned, that's the a da huang or the a rubber. 
And also because right now we can see that the patient admitted to the hospital may have the multi-organ failure or respiratory failure, then you can give the a Da Huang plus ginseng. So in together, you can give the a dosage at around the 30 gram that can help the patient to improve their immune system and also lower the a inflammatory and also help to it lower the a cytokine storm. 同时我再三强调一点呢，就是危重病人的患者多发生在具有并发症，你像有高血压、肥胖、肥胖也是一个非常高危的因素，还有心脏病、糖尿病、免疫性疾病这些疾病。这类的人群要平常要注意加强个人